Someone thinks they can make it on their own. Someone thinks they can make it on their own. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for somebody. God says someone thinks they can make it on their own. And God says this word is for you. Someone has been working so hard and they think they can make it on their own. God says it is God that gives us the ability to make wealth. It is God that gives us the ability to make wealth. Does this mean you shouldn't work hard? No, that's not it. It means, in other words, Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. So even as you work hard, stand, seek to put God first. In your career, put God first. In your marriage, put God first. It's God that gives you the ability to make wealth. It is God that brings to pass the plans that we talk about, the plans that we plan, that, 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 we, that we seek to accomplish, that we desire to accomplish. Proverbs 16 from verse 1 to 3, one of the verses that tells us that many are the plans of, in a man's heart, many are the desires of, in, of a man's heart, but it is only God that brings them to come to pass. So you by yourself cannot help yourself out of that situation. The Bible says, cursed is a man who puts his trust in another. The Bible says, the arm of flesh will fail, even your own arm. Why is God sending this as a prophetic word? To let you know it doesn't matter how strong you are, but you've got to learn how to depend on God. You've got to learn how to put God first. You've got to learn how to shift from depending on your trust or depending on another man to depending on God. Only then can you have good success. Only then can you succeed. Otherwise, you toil and toil and realize that your toiling is not really taking you anywhere. It is God that gives us the ability to make wealth. The same hard work God can add favor to your hard work. God can add favor to your labor. God can give you just one financial instruction and it changes your life forever. God can amplify your, the results of your hard work. Give him the chance to do that. Someone, this is all that your financial life needed. For you to put God first. Obey financial principles. Seek to obey the instructions that God gives you. And you will be out of debt. Can I pray for you? I pray that God gives you one idea that will take your generation out of poverty for the rest of your lives. I pray that God gives you the grace to obey financial principles in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God opens financial doors before you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the grace to always put God first, irrespective of the circumstance, comes upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God guides you in the decisions you take. God guides you in how much you spend, in your spending, in your decision, in your financial wisdom. I pray that God guides you in the name of Jesus. I pray that God takes you out of debt, that God takes you out from a place of debt to a place of abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God doesn't just bless you, but that God makes you a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If this word blessed you, then you might want to connect to it for finances. You might check the description box. You'll find out the cash app and the PayPal are there. Or you can just hit on that super thanks. And believe me, God will honor your giving. Because giving is one of those financial principles. And it doesn't go unrewarded as you give. It is given back to you, shaken together, pressed down until it overflows. God bless you. Shalom.